with uh, BMW Blog, and we're inter interviewing uh, Domagoy, who's uh, head of BMW Design, all BMWs, uh, head of design for that. So we're talking about the X4 today that was just at its uh, world premiere at uh, the tw 2014 New York Auto Show. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Um, walk us through some of the interesting design details that, uh, that you guys have done to bring the X4 to the market. I mean, actually, the most interesting thing about the X4 is actually the rear end. Yeah? Now we stand in front of the car, uh -huh. but of course, I mean, here what we can see is also the uh, new front end of the X3 facelift, okay. which we also brought immediately on the X4 because it offers also uh, a connection to the headlights. Mm -hmm. the, the kidney is connected to the headlights and therefore it looks wider and it brings also to the character of the X4, which should be also more dynamic than the X3. It, it, it brings much more emotion to the car. And so we thought also when we did the X3 facelift, uh, because the facelift needs also always to, it's a life cycle uh, impulse. impulse. Mm -hmm. And so there it's also the right time where, where you bring more emotion to the actual car. And it fitted also because we knew we will use the, the same headlights. So it was on the same time we, we, we gave actually two cars the, the new face. And here on this car, we see the Sport M Sport package. Mm -hmm. So with the uh, big air intakes on the outside, which add on this uh, X4 again, much more uh, emotion and dynamic with the focus on the outside which brings much more uh, width to the car. Okay, And uh, you were talking about the most uh, stunning part of the, of the X4 is, is the back rear three-quarter. Talk, talk me through that. Yeah, I mean while uh, the X3 ha is really a functional car, it's more vertical. Uh -huh. So the SACs like we've shown also with the X6 is a, is a coupe version of a of a classic X car, mm -hmm. where we talk more about practicability, functional uh, functionality, and these cars, they're more the emotional uh, side of, of X cars. The, the roof line is faster, like on a coupe. Mm -hmm. It's a coupe uh, which is just sitting higher. You have the same uh, ground clearance like an X car. You, you can drive it like a X3, just mm -hmm. for people who, who don't want to take over his, his whole family with them, uh -huh. uh, you feel probably more comfortable in car, which looks like a coupe. It's uh, more yeah, it's uh, ex coupe -like. exactly definitely, definitely coupe, -like. coupe like. And so in the rear end, also uh, you would see that uh, it it doesn't emphasize the verticality; it emphasizes more the horizontality. Mm -hmm. The headlights are slimmer and wider, and also the the tapering of the of the cabin uh -huh. also shows then more uh, width in the back. Even if it's the same width, like the set, the track is the same with like the X3, but in the rear, mm -hmm. people think X4 somehow looks much wider, but mm -hmm. it's actually just by, by uh, design uh, tricks, actually. Okay, so this being based off the X3, there are some, there, it is a little different size-wise than the X3, though, is it, is it not? No, no, it's the same size. Huh? It's the same size. The roof is lower, okay. but actually the length and the width is the same. Okay. So it gives you a more aggressive appearance, more athletic appearance, uh, similar to the X6, which has been a very good seller for for BMW. Um, how do, how do you think that someone will choose a X4 over an X6? What how is this going to be differentiated between the two? Yeah, I mean, at first it's the size. Mm -hmm. It's also a question of uh, money yeah, because it's also a cheaper car. But uh, the the difference, the main difference between X6 and X4 is that the X6 is a even more extravagant product. It's, mm -hmm. it's even more extreme, where it's probably the more you go extreme, the more it's polarizing. The more okay. uh, you will find more people who will love it and or hate it. On this car, where the purpose was really to, to make a car where, where you reach a, a bigger uh, range of uh, customers. Mm -hmm. Because the car has actually all the all the aesthetic uh, um, expressions like a X6, so you have the fast roof line, you have right. this coupe feeling, but less polarizing, so it doesn't look that extreme, it's not so... Uh, the X6 is somehow 
always more yeah, where, where, where you have customers in China or Middle East who actually want this. This car will probably work more uh, on the European market, in the US market, in bigger cities mm -hmm. where people just want a car which has actually the same expression but it's really uh, measured or the right uh, type, right size that you feel just like a, a how can you say, like when you when you take a, a suit, which mm -hmm. is just uh, exactly made for for the need you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, what demographic do you think will be attracted to the X4? What what what's your customer for the the X4? I mean, it's people between 30, 50. Mm -hmm. uh, so so definitely more lends part of the the design of the athletic, aggressive. Uh, appearance to it. I mean, we don't we don't like to use the word aggressive, yeah, but uh, okay. <laughs> because yeah, dynamic, right? dynamic, okay. yeah, because yeah, it definitely uh, is very much more dynamic looking than the X3 for sure. Yeah, and that was the purpose. I mean, if it's if it's really the car has is is just uh, a little bit more expensive than the X3, uh -huh. but it offers actually exactly uh, the same same qualities like X3 just right. just just uh, with a with a skin or with a look yeah. which is different without really making so many things different and that's that's really the key of the car and uh, how you just said I mean there will be people who probably will think X3 is somehow the type or the size of car I need uh -huh. but it won't be expressive or emotional enough and so they get uh, uh, the same car actually in a more dynamic uh, way.